Hello students, I hope all of you are doing well. Today's video is on the lesson A. Now, what is A? A is one of the three states of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything anything that has mass and occupies space. Now, what is the meaning of mass? Mass is weight. This pen, for example, is matter. It has weight and it occupies space. When I keep it on the table, it occupies space. I am matter. You are matter. We have weight and we occupy space. Now, matter exists in three states. States of matter are solids, liquids and gases. So air is the gaseous state of matter. Is that clear? What is air used for? Now where is air present? Air is present everywhere. There is air in this room but we cannot see it. We cannot taste it. Is that clear? Now why is air required? What are the uses of air? Air is Air is used for breathing. All living beings need air. So one for Air is required for breathing. Air is also required for burning. Air dries clothes for drying. Air helps the birds to fly. Air helps the birds to fly. Air is used in tires of vehicles. Is that clear? Let us now come to the properties of air. Now, the first one is air occupies space. Air occupies space. Now, how do we know that air occupies space? Now, all of you have surely blown air into a balloon. What happens when you blow air into a balloon? The balloon becomes bigger and bigger. Why does the balloon become bigger and bigger? It becomes bigger and bigger because the air that you are blowing into the balloon is occupying the space in the balloon and the balloon stretches and becomes bigger. Now if you blow too much of air and there is no place for the air in the balloon, what happens to the balloon? It bursts. Okay, now that tells you that air occupies space. Next one is air moves. Air moves. Now air is also used to move sailboats. Air also moves the blades of a windmill. Now how do we know that air moves? When you spray a deodorant or an or a, a air freshener, an air freshener in your room, you can get the fragrance in the next room. Why does this happen? This happens because the molecules of air move. So you 
can get the fragrance in the next room. This tells you that air moves. Next we go to air has weight. Now how do we know that air has weight? If you have taken, if you have seen a football, a football that has air in it is heavier than a, foot, than a ball that has no air in it. This tells us that air has weight. A deflated tire where there is no air in a tire is lighter than a tire that is filled with air. Next is air is colorless. You already know this. We have air in this room but we cannot see it because it has no color. Fifth one, air expands on air expands on heating. How do we know this? Now you must have seen your mom making chapatis at home. Now what happens to the chapati after it is put on the hot tawa? You will see that once the chapati gets hot, it fluffs up. Why does it fluff up? It fluffs up because the molecules of air that are trapped in the chapati, when they get heated, what happens to them? They expand and this is what fluffs up the chapati. So now we know that air expands on heating. So what are the properties of air? Air occupies space, air moves, air has weight, air is colorless and air expands on heating. We shall now find out what is the composition of air. Composition of air. Now air is a mixture of gases. It contains 78% of nitrogen, 21% of oxygen, and 1% of other gases like carbon dioxide, helium, hydrogen, argon, and also, understood? Air is a mixture of gases. This, these are the gases that air contains. Now, the blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called the atmosphere. The blanket of air that surrounds the earth is called atmosphere. The layers of <clears throat> the atmosphere, the air is denser at the surface of the earth. But as one goes higher, climbs higher, this blanket of air becomes thinner and thinner. And this is the reason why mountaineers, who are mountaineers, people who climb mountains, mountaineers have to carry a cylinder of oxygen so that they can breathe easily when they are climbing high mountains. So children today we shall stop here. Thank you.